Your statement, Fatma Ghul, it's very important. You know that? So now, will you tell me the truth? All right. You can talk. I'm listening. If you stay quiet and sit like this, I can't do anything for you. Tell me. Well, she's shy, you know. Fatma Ghul, come on, tell him just what you told me before. Tell him what you said. Well, she said to me, shh. Shut up, shh, shh. Come on. If you tell him, girl, he will help you and he will help Karem too. Don't interfere, please. But sir, this girl said she fell in love with Karem. Uh, everyone talks at the same time. Get out now. Get out! I promise that I won't speak again. Get out! He's mad. Go, go, go. Come on, let's get out. Come on. What are you all scamming about, huh? Whose guilt are you blaming on Corinne this time? What are you saying? You get away from me. The Yasaran family wants you to do this. I am Fatma Ghul's lawyer, and that is all. You are just a pawn of the Yasarans, so you clean up after them. And you stir up trouble as well. Shut up now, you always talk too much. And if it wasn't for the Yasarans, you probably wouldn't do anything for anyone. And if you try to accuse me, I will sue you beyond repair. I accuse you. Right? Right? Could you be quiet? Or you'll have to leave right now. Maryam, sit. Sit. Sit down. Fatma Ghul will talk and we'll see what you'll do then. Come on. We'll see then, won't Come we? On. So, what will we do? Will I wait all night? You can tell me now. You don't have to be shy, we're alone. I need you to tell me what happened. I'm getting angry. Were you together with Karim willingly? Won't you speak to me? I do not have the right to speak. I want you to speak, and I want to hear what you said to your aunt. Can you tell me if you took back the complaint? I don't have any right to complain at all. I need you to write this phrase. She is declaring that she takes the complaint back. Later, we'll have her sign. She's making it difficult for everyone. Karim, you can come out now. And you, do whatever you're going to do if you're marrying them. Do you really want to marry that girl?
Hey, what's up, Dilak? It's already gone, already gone. Yeah, this is Salim's phone, but he isn't here at the moment. You shouldn't call him because he's engaged. He's not available. Yeah. At least don't be calling this number. You know, he has another number. Or wait, he won't be answering the phone now. I'm gonna go ahead and send you his fiance's number. How's that? You call that one. You're welcome. Same to you. Later. <laughs> he doesn't accept errors, Meltem. This is my fault. He's quite right. Don't try to lighten the situation. He doesn't have the right to slap you. He is my father. Regardless of that, he had no right to slap you. Okay, just change the subject. You can accept being beaten by your father at this age, and I can't believe that you can take that abuse. What kind of relationship is that? No, Tam, enough. You're a completely different person with your father. The Salem that I know goes all week and, and then he becomes a loser. Salem, I'm telling you, I don't like this situation at all, okay? A person can't be changing like this. Who's that? What's this number? Hello, yes? Who? For you, Dilek. Hello? What are you saying? Who are you? I don't know you. Some pervert, an idiot. You're the real idiot. Oh, what is it now? Your girlfriends are now calling you on my phone, Salem. What girlfriend? I don't know who she is. The girl from the newspaper, wasn't that Dilek? I don't know her, Meltem. Well, who is she then, and how did she get my phone number? How would I know that? You understand they're messing with you, not me. They're jealous of you. They're only trying to bother you. Look, it's Don't her. answer. Don't listen to this. You have to change your number. These idiots will keep disturbing you, and that's for sure. Why didn't this happen before the engagement? It's because someone got angry. Oh, come on, Melta. Come on. Let's get over this now. <laughs> 